Namaste from Joy of Reading. Today's story is Mangalyan, A Journey to Mars. The author and illustrator is Nikhil Gulati and the publisher is Pratham Books. Mangalyan, Mangala means Mars and Yana means vehicle. So Mangalyan means vehicle to Mars. And in this story, we will see this vehicle's journey to the planet Mars. If you look up at the sky on some clear nights, you will see what looks like a shining red star. That's the planet Mars. Ever since humans invented telescopes, they've looked at Mars and wondered, what is it like on Mars? Is there life up there? We can look at Mars from down here and try to guess. But what if we could actually travel there? So on a clear night, when there are so many stars that we can see, we can see a red shining star that is planet Mars. It is also called the red planet. Telescopes, you can see this in this picture, are instruments that help us see objects which are very, very far away from us. And when we see through this telescope, we see Mars as well, we wonder whether life was there or life is there. So, and we can make a guess, but what if we could really go up to Mars and check it out? Mars is one of the nearest planets to Earth in the solar system. And yet it is so far away that if you were to drive to it, it would take 1,200 years to get there. In an aeroplane, even at top speed, it would take 30 years. So Mars, it will take 1,200 years if you were to drive in a car or 30 years if you are going in a high speed aeroplane. It is so far off. Take a look at this. If the earth were this big, just this much big, if it has been able to see in your hands, the moon would be around here. So if the earth is this big and it's here, then the moon is this big and it is here. It is all relative. And Mars would be somewhere over there, half a kilometer away. So with the Earth and the Moon here, the Mars would be at a distance about there, like half a kilometer off. So this is all relative distances. So that it will give you an idea how it is actually in the space. The Earth is not actually so small, right? It is like really big. Cars and aeroplanes cannot take us there. To go to Mars, we need spaceships. And this is a spaceship. On November 5th, 2013, the Indian Space Research Organization, ISRO, launched a spaceship that would travel to Mars. It was called Mangalyan. Mangalyan carried no humans on it. Instead, it carried four instruments, including one powerful camera with which to look at Mars from up close. So, ISRO, the Indian Space Research Organization, launched a spaceship called Mangalyan to go to Mars. You can see the spaceship here going up. And it carried some instruments out of which one is a powerful camera so that it could take pictures and send it back to us. Look at Mangalyan's launch. It goes from the Earth up, up into the space. And then there it is. Mangalya and the space, a small dot, because it is so small compared to the Earth. The first challenge facing Mangalyan was the huge distance to be traveled. Flying straight to Mars would require a lot of fuel, and fuel is expensive. So the scientists of ISRO tried a more creative solution they decided to throw Mangalyan towards Mars as if from a sling. So 
Mars is really far off and imagine the amount of fuel you would need to get there. Just like we need to put petrol um, in cars, we need also a lot of fuel or gas to power a spaceship for it to travel. And it would need probably thousands and thousands of kilograms or liters of fuel, right? So that much would be really costly or expensive. So the ISRO scientists came up with a smart solution. They decided that they would throw mangal yarn like a sling. A sling is this device that you've done, right? And you want to throw a stone, you put this in, in between a, um, a rope that is attached and you pull it, right? And it goes like that. So they were thinking of trying something like that. You can see this lady spinning it and throwing like this. Only in this case, Earth's gravity played the role of the sling. Mangalyan first started to orbit Earth. Gravity. Gravity is nothing but the pulling force exhi exhibited by any object. And Earth is a huge object and it has a lot of uh, force to pull other objects to it. So gravity is like a force of the pulling force of an object. So this Earth's gravity played the role of the sling, throwing Mangalyan into a path around it. And this path around this Earth is called orbit. So Mangalyan so first started going around the Earth and the Earth's gravity was what which made it go follow this path around the Earth. Then it was put into bigger and bigger orbits by firing the engine six times. Each time it picked up more speed. So you can see here six paths or orbits, one, two, three, four, five, six. So Mangalyan first went around this first path. So Earth's gravity put Mangalyan into this small path first. And afterwards, to, in order to go into the next path, the engine was fired and it was thrown into the second, like that third, fourth, fifth, and sixth. So each time as it went into like the next path, it picked up more and more speed. It became faster. Mangalyan became faster. When Mangalyan was at its fastest, it was given one final push. With that, it escaped Earth's gravity. So when it was in this final sixth path, so it was given one final push. The engine fired one more time and it had so much speed that it went ahead and escaped the gravitational pull of the Earth. So you can see here, right? It goes out of this Earth's orbit path and out of the Earth's gravitational pull. Since Earth also moves in orbit around the sun, its speed was added to Mangalyan's Earth, in other words, acted like the hand throwing the slingshot. So Earth is also going around the sun and it had a speed. That speed it also was, that speed was also added to Mangalyan speed. So Earth acted like the hand that threw the slingshot. But Mangalyan didn't fly straight to Mars. This is because Mars itself moves in orbit around the sun. The scientists had to aim far ahead so that Mangalyan and Mars would both reach the same point in space at exactly the same time. So Mangalyan didn't fly straight to Mars because Mars is not staying still. It is also going around the sun. So what the scientists had to do, they had to aim such that Mangalyan and Mars meet at the same point. Let's see what is being done for that. So there are different points in this picture. You can see one, two, three, four. We will see what each of them means. One, Mars was over here when Mangalyan was launched. So you can see this red dot here at point one. That is Mars in its orbit, the red color orbit. And it was here when Mangalyan was launched. So Mangalyan was launched, meaning Mangalyan escapes the gravitational pull of Earth to Mangalyan's path to Mars. So here you can see this blue color thing is Earth 
and from here is where mangalyaan was launched out of the earth's gravitational pull and it takes this path to out here to go meet mars 3 mangalyaan caught mars over here 10 months later so mars was following this path the red color path and mangalyaan was following this white colored path so both of them met at this point 3 about 10 months later what is four earth moves in orbit around the sun so this is earth's orbit around the sun the yellow ball here is the sun five mars moves in orbit around the sun so this red color path is is the orbit of mars that moves around this is a path taken by mars around the sun so uh, mangalyaan is launched from earth out here it takes this path to mars is here and it also takes this a uh, red color path both of them meet at 3 after 10 months it's a long long way to mars mangalyaan traveled for 300 days and covered 62 crores kilometer so you can see mangalyaan traveling so much over such a long journey it was very important that the spaceship stay on the right track otherwise it could easily miss mars mangalyaan could tell where it was by the position of the stars around it it sent this information back to mission control on earth here mathematicians checked to see whether the spaceship was still on the right path when needed they sent signals to the spaceship telling it to fire its engines and correct its path so it is important it's a it's a very long journey and the spaceship should stay on its path to the correct course otherwise what will happen it will just miss mars and just keep floating in the space so what did mangalyaan do it sent its position to the scientists in the earth by looking at it it could tell the position by the stars around it and it sent this position or information to the mission control and there the scientists and mathematicians checked to see if it was on the right path and if not they sent signals so that the spaceship could alter its direction by firing its engine now you can see the numbers 1 2 3 on the space um uh, craft here right so 1 here is the dish to talk to earth so this is where communication to earth happens two fuel tank this is where the fuel is kept three solar panel to power the ship's electronics they also had a solar panel to use the all the solar energy in the space so that they can power the ship's electron electronics out there after many months in space mangalyaan was almost there with just a few days to go mars's gravity started pulling the spaceship in so here is mars and here is mangalyaan and soon as it was like at uh, closer to mars mars's gravity started pulling mangalyaan in as the spaceship neared the red planet it had to slow down to enter into orbit this had to be done very carefully otherwise it could crash into mars or fly away forever so as it was nearing mars it had to slow down so that it doesn't go and crash or bang into mars or it just goes somewhere else as well right so it has to be done really carefully it was a tense moment for everyone so mars is here and mangalyaan is here However on September 24th 2014 perfect entry into Mars's orbit was achieved so Mangalyaan was launched in November of 2013 and on September 24th Mangalyaan correctly fell into the orbit of Mars wonderful right even today Mangalyaan continues to orbit Mars and send pictures back to earth so you can see this is the orbit around mars that mangalyaan takes and it clicks pictures and sends it back to earth 
This is an actual photograph taken by Mangalyan. We still don't know for certain whether there is or ever was life on Mars. But isn't it amazing that we could reach a destination so far out there? Now we can dream of sending people up there too. In fact, ISRO is already building a new spaceship that will take humans into space. It is called Gaganyan. Gaganyan will take three people on board and is set to take off in a few years. Would you like to be on it? So this is an actual photograph taken by Mangalyan of Mars. Amazing, right? So we should be really proud because India is the fourth nation to send successfully a spaceship into Mars. And we did this at a very low budget. We took about rupees 4, 4, 450 crores, whereas NASA from the United States took 6,000 crores. There are some movies that have budget more than the amount that was spent to send the spaceship to uh, Mars from India. So that is indeed a great feat. We could achieve it in such low cost. Now, ISRO is now working on its next mission called Gaganyan, where it will take three people on board. So isn't that really cool? What is gravity? It is the force that pulls all objects to each other. The moon and earth pull each other. So do the sun and earth. However, the heavier an object is, the greater its gravity. This is why small things like this stone fall to the ground. The much heavier earth pulls the stone to itself with its high gravity. The stone also pulls earth to itself, but the stone's gravity is so small that earth moves only a very, very tiny amount that is not noticeable. So gravity is the pulling force of the object. So all objects pull, e pull everything towards each other. So the moon and earth pull each other, the sun and the earth pull each other. But if an object is really heavy, the heavier object, the greater its gravity. So, so the stone that we have when we throw it into the ground, it goes in, it falls to the ground because the earth is pulling it towards it. The stone also exhibits some pull, but that is nothing compared to the earth's gravitational pull because earth is like a really huge, huge, heavy object, right? What is an orbit? When I throw the stone, earth's gravity still pulls it, but the stone travels a bit before falling to the ground. When I throw it harder, it travels farther before falling. But what if I could throw it really, really hard? So you can see in this picture, this lady throwing the stone. So it travels for some time and falls to the ground because the earth's gravity is pulling it. When I throw it harder, it travels some more distance and it falls farther away, but still it falls on the ground. But what if I throw it really very, very, very hard, what can happen? At just the right speed, the stone will travel all the way around earth and keep going. It will have entered into orbit. In this exact manner, Mangalyan was placed in orbit first around earth and then around Mars. In space, lighter objects orbit around heavier objects due to gravity, like the moon around Earth and Earth around the sun. Orbits are generally elliptical, oval in shape. So when you have the right speed, and the right force when you throw it, the stone will start traveling around the Earth. So it means it will go around the Earth and it will have, it means it has entered into the Earth's orbit. It will keep traveling around like this. So in the same manner, with the right speed and using Earth's gravitation pull, Mangalyan was first placed into the Earth's orbit, followed by the Mars's orbit. So in the space, usually lighter objects go around heavier objects because of this gravitational pull. So the moon goes around the Earth, the Earth goes around the sun. So, and the orbits are generally elliptical or 
oval in shape. I hope you enjoyed with me learning about Mangalyaan. Please do go to ISRO's webpage and learn about this Mars Orbiter mission that is about Mangalyaan. Read about this and you can see that we have a launch vehicle that has the spacecraft in it, which is the actual uh, spacecraft that carries the payload and those instruments. And these two both go into the space. It also talks about the ground segment or where, like uh, how do we track what is going on up in the space in our spaceship. So, and then you also have the mission profile on how this whole thing was done. This is a great page to understand a lot of details about this mission. There is also a Wikipedia page that talks about this mission as well. Uh, we will give the links um, in the description section in the YouTube, so make sure that you go through. Thank you. Try these. Find out what PSLV, Polar Satellite Launch Vehicle, means and how was it used in Mangalyan. Check out the links shown in the description section. Write what you have learnt from the story. Thank you.